are you doing in my swamp? Hello everybody, this is Ogreboy, and I'm going to be doing my review for the 2020 movie Bloodshot. The movie is directed by David S.F. Wilson, and written by Jeff Wadlow and Eric Hesserer. And uh, this movie follows Ray Garrison, who is a, a soldier who uh, gets killed, and he wakes up, and... Uh, finds out he's been brought back to life by a company who's wanting to use him as a weapon. Um, this movie was a lot of fun. I actually really enjoyed this one. I, I went in there not knowing what to expect. I, I kind of figured I wouldn't like it. I'm not like a huge Vin Diesel fan. It's not really that I don't like him. I love him in the Fast and the Furious movies, but outside of those movies, I haven't really seen much of his. I've, I've seen Pitch Black and uh, I think the Chronicles of Riddick are the other two that I've seen and then I've seen the first Triple X movie but he was, he was one that I liked a lot as a kid because I loved him in Triple X and Fast, The Fast and the Furious and then I kind of just didn't keep up with him and everything and uh, I rewatched Triple X a few months ago and I just didn't really enjoy it as much as I did as a kid and I hadn't really been interested in seeing other stuff outside of the Fast movies but I ended up watching this one and I, I really enjoyed it I thought it was a, a lot of fun it, I thought it was kind of underrated um, it's based on the Valiant comic book character of the same name I haven't really read any of the comics I don't even really know much about Valiant Comics. I've, I've heard of them, but I've never really read any of their comic books. So I went in here not really knowing anything about this character. Um, I had never seen any of the trailers or anything. I just have heard nothing but bad about the movie. But I thought it was a lot better than than I was expecting it to be. I, I thought Vin Diesel was really awesome. He kicked a lot of butt. And uh, it was fun seeing him in this movie. It kind of makes me want to see more of his stuff. I know he's not one of those actors that gets a lot of acclaim and stuff. I know he's not like the best actor in the world. His, his acting is just eh. But I, I, he make he chooses roles that suit his his capabilities. He's not like one of those deep actors that that has a lot of emotional stuff. But I, I thought his performance in here was really good. Stuff it was and everything and it really does show how much of an improvement he's become as an actor since he did triple x because like watching his performance in that it's really cringy nowadays but uh and then watching him in this it, it's a lot better uh, it still still isn't the best acting in the world but it, it's he's fun to watch and, and vin diesel's a likable dude and stuff so I, I really enjoyed him in this movie um the the rest of the cast in here are all pretty good too. Guy Pierce plays Dr. Emil Harding, who's uh, like the the one that brought him back, and he's like this scientist guy, and he's really good in here too. I, I think he fits the role really well. Um, and Isaac Gonzalez plays KT, who's another person that Dr. Harding had uh, helped and everything. She she's really good too. Um, and there's some twists in this movie that I didn't expect or see coming. I should have, but I didn't, and everything. But I, I really, really enjoyed a lot of this movie. I, I knew where some things were going to go because it was just kind of obvious, but uh, it wasn't exactly... There, the twists that happened in here, I didn't see that being what they were going with, but I, I, I liked it. And everything. The action in here was pretty good. It does have some really bad CGI during the the third act and stuff, um, but it doesn't really bother me. It kind of actually feels like this movie was like a early 2000s superhero movie, and it, it. I know most people would probably say that that's a big negative. It, it doesn't really bother me that bad because I, I enjoy a lot of the superhero movies from that era. And everything so kind of having a throwback to that time was kind of fun um, I don't think it was intentionally meant to feel like that but it still was fun kind of like with Venom Venom kind of felt like an early 2000s 
movie too. Um, but it, it doesn't really bother me. I know it does a lot of people, but I, uh, I, I just think it, it is what it is, and you can either hate it or just go along with it and enjoy the ride. And that, that's what I do with movies like that and this one. Um, I just enjoy them for what they are. Um, it's not going to win any Oscars. It's not like a, a really big deal. It's just a, a fun turn your brain off movie. I, I'd probably rewatch it every now and then. Uh, and it's definitely not like on the level of some other superhero movies. It's not as good as some of the MCU movies or uh, other Marvel or DC movies, but it, it's still a lot of fun. And I, I think this was supposed to be the beginning of a Valiant cinematic universe. I don't know if they're still going to try to go with it because this movie didn't do very good. I know part of that was because of everything that happened was going on at the time of its release. It, this came out right as the pandemic was starting. So I, I don't know uh, what they're going to do with this. I hope they, they continue. I'd love to see more movies set in this universe, see, see other characters from the Valiant comics stuff, see what, what they have in store with these other characters. And I'd love to see a sequel to this one because I think they are working on a sequel to it. I'm looking forward to it. Um, this could be a, kind of like a guilty pleasure turn your brain off franchise, kind of like how the Fast and the Furious franchise is for me. It, it's not like anything special, but it's just they're just fun movies, um, fun turn your brain off movies. Um, so I'd say I'd give Bloodshot a 7.5 out of 10. It, it is a fun movie. It, like I said, that the, there are some things about it I don't like, like the CGI is really towards the end of the movie, and uh, the score in here is not very good. I, it, it's one of those super generic superhero movie scores. It just was okay. That, that's one thing that, that I didn't like, but besides that, it was a fun movie. Not, not anything super great or super special, but... It was a fun movie, and it surprised me. So, uh, anyway, let me know in the comments what you think of Bloodshot, and I hope you enjoy this video, and have a good day, everybody.